Well, greetings and salutations. Welcome, everybody, as we start up our next installment of Godfall. Um, in the last episode, we just completed uh, defeating the boss, Lenara. And um, yeah, in return, we got these cool ass storm flare um dual blades man and there are a uh voltage electricity style proc and um so we went ahead and went with a valorian plate that is also a electricity proc and so that actually deals out shock damage and so that being said let's get on to the next mission just want to say thanks everyone for the love and support on the channel you guys have been crushing it. Thank you so much. And I think actually it is this one up to Azur Enclave. We are done with the water realm. It's time to move on our remaining targets in the air realm. Head to the central tower and ascend. Wow, 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 wow. Let's do this. There's something else. More bad news, I'm guessing. Macros is wrong. About what? About his entire plan. He thinks he can become a god, but he can't. He can't. Oh, no. He has the rights of ascension. Yes, but they are not what he thinks they are. The rights aren't for ascension to godhood. They're for a different kind of ascension. They're for sacrifice. Blood sacrifice, you mean? Exactly. If Macros tries to ascend, odds are he'll die and most likely destroy the world around him. Wow, 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 wow. Somebody's got a god complex, and there's our new uh, Valorian armor. Pretty darn cool. Definitely give her um, a run sure through. Are you sure about this? I've studied the rites. It's all there in the text. If Macros tries to ascend, he will die. So, wow. The brother that tried to kill us, we now have to save him from himself and in turn, saving the world. I don't know about you guys, but the stakes just got much higher. Mm -mm, our new guy. Uh, he's cast reduced. Oh, that sucks. Come here. Oh. Thought I actually could have got that one off. I guess I don't have enough yet. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Stay down. Oh, well, I kind of like it actually. This new. Electric proc. Um, valor plate. Valorian plate. And I'm still gonna always call it like uh, Valorian or Valor Plate. Head out this way. Whoa, look at all these dudes. This is gonna be a big fight. Yeah, don't mind the RP walk. 
Uh, yeah, these guys, I do not like these ninja dudes at all. Greedy. No, 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 no. See, so, yeah, I'm seeing he's being damaged with electricity right now. Like he just went down on his own. Not bad, kind of liking this new one. Definitely combos a little different. Getting the procs off, definitely a little uh, more challenging. But uh, definitely like that come here type uh, thing with the dual blades where you can drag people right to you. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Oren. More bad news. I know he's your brother. When he chose to betray us, he sealed his own fate. Somebody actually behind me. to throw down Ark and Fury yet, so let's, we'll give that one a try with these new Storm Flare blades. Should be pretty legit. And I do like, uh, always did actually like a uh, dual wielding blades, but man, the pole arm is just, see, like, I might go with a pole arm. This guy's I got- I won't be beaten by a weakling. Fight me! Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. I won't be beaten by a weekly. Okay. 
that's a good one. Get a heal up. Outside my banner. Unfair. Yeah, and that orb that I have up there right now, it is procking off him for. Yeah, uh, it's doing like a hundred and something electrical damage with that orb. Nice one, dude. Jeez. Things are legit. I'm coming. Oh, snap. Well, she is not messing around. And we still have Arkin Fury yet, so. Kind of saving that one just in case it gets super crazy. Looks like we got one more fight in here. But yeah, I do like that full arm proc where it puts an electrical sphere next to the baddies. Kind of life taps them for 100 and some odd damage. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is the big bad boss fight or not. Whoa. Now oh, look at this thing, man. Holy crap. I call it the bug armor, but <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. The air realm. These flying earth moats are the only solid ground up here. Let's move carefully, since the Neak kindreds do not like intruders. Tell me who I face next. Oh, and see. Grieve Sunsteel is Macros's personal godsmith. He's our next target. Oh, well, but I... first, we need to activate a twilight beacon. Holy cow. So we're just like one by one taking out all of her brothers, uh, his brothers. I don't, I'm not too sure why, but anyway, maybe the spirit is, you know, the brother. But uh, obviously we have a female character, which um, doesn't matter to me as long as I got the stats that I like and uh, gets the job done. Uh, man, wow, 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 man, holy crap. Hmm. So I got new guys. I can't believe I accidentally launched my art here. My bad. <laughs> Went to go in for the shield slam, the breach, as they call it. Which got to press R3 and. I guess I already had L3 down. Is what it is. Boy, and that's new. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this dude. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Nice, brother. Nice. Can't believe I missed that. There we go. Yeah, a little tentative. Just filling these guys out. Make sure they're not too uh, ridiculously, you know, OP for my character. Being that we just started a new one. 
Can she get up around her? Yeah, she can. Oh, that's unusual. That's a little disorienting. The, the ground is like, uh, leaning to the left. Oh, holy crap. Got a dude sitting right there. That looked like my old armor. My old armor plate. Hm. Oh, there it is. Over there. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find yellow orbs since I just lit off my Ark and Fury by accident. Oh, that is a hell of a stretch. Oof. Glad we're able to. Yeah, you missed that, which have I, you know, commented already before. Um, yeah. It drains your shield throw ability. Yeah, which is that meter down the bottom left hand side of the corner. The yellow bar down there in the bottom left is my Ark and Fury, um, Ark and Fury meter. Okay, we didn't want to break that anyway. Definitely just gonna go up here and take a peek real quick. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Okay, let's get back to the story. Just wanted to scope out the map a little bit. Because, yeah, I think we're just here to light up a beacon. Man, I couldn't even see that dude coming up through there. You. Nope. Not quite, dude. And my electrical proc that's due down that was shooting at me over here. Awesome. Don't see any other goodies sitting around here. And we are so close to having our Ark and Fury back too. closer you get to Macros, the harder his forces will fight you. They can't stop me. Oh, better snag this dude real quick. They're gonna auto-return us to the inner sanctum here in just a second. Wow. This place is awesome. Wow. Holy crap, man. Talk to Xena. Black Seed Augment, Black Seed Augment, uh, Gildan Rose. We'll have to check those out. And a Vermilion Rant Band. Let's Your see what brother he's got. is even more of a menace than I thought. True. He's his own worst enemy. How so? He's wrong about the rites of ascension. They won't turn him into a god after all. Why not? It's a sacrifice ritual. He's a dead man. He's playing with fire. True. We have to stop him before yes. he wreaks more havoc on this world. Yes, yes. <laughs> Zeven sits there and just whistles. Mm, yep, crazy SOB. The dude's got issues. Brother's going to need some professional help after this. Did you tell Xenon about Macros? Yes. Yes. Where's Greaves? He's at his forge. 
We'll search for it at the Shrine of the Godsmiths. Let's go. Greaves Sunsteel's lair is somewhere below the Shrine of the Godsmiths on the other side of the Azure Enclave. The land is held by local warbands of the Niak Kindred. They are hostile and will attack on sight. Head to the Shrine of the Godsmiths and find the entrance to Greaves Sunsteel's forge. All right. Let's go ahead and accept that. Complete the Shrine of the Godsmiths. Alrighty, y'all. That is a perfect place for a pause for the cause. Um, because obviously that one I think is going to be, you know, another one of those lengthy ones. So we'll cut this one here. Um, 20 plus minutes. Not too bad. A good place to stop. But yeah, man, this game is just so awesome. I just, it's definitely one of my faves. But yeah, Series X should be back from Microsoft's Repair Center tomorrow. So, um... That's the other one I've been really wanting to get uh, back to is uh, Valhalla. So we'll be starting that series up again on the channel here as soon as that's back. And then tomorrow as well, that's a uh, 4K60 monitor. I'll be here. The only reason why I'm picking that up is because I wanted to be able to run 4K60 native throughout the whole thing. So hopefully we'll be seeing a, uh, a bit more crispier because I'm having to uh, downscale from... 4k to 1440 to 2k so um hopefully we won't be doing that anymore um everything's going to be native 4k 60 so until then my friends if you enjoyed this episode a sub on the channel as always helps and is always greatly appreciated but if you do decide to sub make sure to hit that notification bell because we will be getting back to dropping two a day every day and then try to start hitting three videos on saturday so until then i will and i shall catch you on the other side peace